Okay, Melissa, we are at, uh, the, uh, at uh, the Web Summit. Uh, you're the, the founder of, of Mandao. Yes. Uh, so what is it? Uh, Mandao is a peer-to-peer -peer international delivery platform. So basically you can get anything uh, from whatever uh, in less than three days because we use travelers that are traveling from the, from the place that you want the product to your destination. Okay, so like when why, so like when I want to have a baseball cap from New York, and I think I really want to have it, then I can uh, order it uh, through your uh, your platform. Yes, you go to uh, www.mandao.com, and then you order the cap, and then you put how much money you are willing to pay for it, because you know the cost of the of the hat. Let's say that it costs a hundred. I don't I don't I don't have idea how much it works, but then I'm, you say like I'm willing to pay one fifty because I really want that hat. And that extra fee is for the traveler. Okay, so the, so the traveler goes uh, uh, to uh, to the shop uh, to buy it. Uh, to the to the uh, to the buyers, the extra. Yeah. And then we take an extra fee, but okay, you don't pay 150. You pay pay 150 plus our 12 percent commission rate. Yeah, yeah. And uh, where does the idea come from? The idea came from because I I used to live in the U.S. and uh, in, and in Spain, and I always wanted things from my home country. And I know that there's a huge need, and I'm like, okay, that could we have peer like we have sharing economy for everything, but we don't have sharing economy for something like this, for stuff that we need from other places, and we just have to rely on Amazon or eBay if they have it, or international couriers that are really expensive, that is impossible to have it. So I thought that it was really cool if you if you take this concept to the sharing economy concept to the international delivery of packages and how did you manage to, to get your first demand and supply on a platform okay so basically i start with communities like for example i am I'm, I'm from panama so in panama we have a huge international commu um, community and um, so i started with venezuelans because right now for the current situation in venezuela they are in in a huge need and they do this they already do this but in the in the informal sector they have like a huge community of like 20,000 people, like on, just only on Facebook, like um, encomiendas, which is like errands from Panama to Venezuela. Who's traveling today to Venezuela? I pay 10 for this. Or, or So we start with that community, which was easier. And then the travelers, at the beginning, how it started, like on Facebook. Who's traveling to, to Venezuela? And then like with, with my network, but then we use a lot of, uh, like we use all the communities in Facebook to market because it's a cheaper way than Facebook ads yeah. and, and then you have but then you find these communities on Facebook that they really that they behave as, as a community not that like, not like the typical group that no one sees mm -hmm. but then you find these communities that they actually there's an interaction so. yeah yeah but I think uh, it's also really good for, uh, for the trust because yeah uh, you, 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 they also have people with shared values do you think that this, this also works good for, uh, for the trust uh, between the uh, the, the, the buyer and the seller? Yes, I think so, because they actually put, like, for example, uh, when I post and uh, everything, I, I do it as myself. And, and, and I think first they trust the platform because they see a person behind of the, uh, because they see a person behind the platform. A second, because they know who's coming, that, that someone is from that community that they are gonna do it. So it's someone that they know and they feel that they, that they are feeling the same pain that they do. And for example, the, like, the interesting thing about Venezuela is that the travelers, they don't do it because of the money. They, it's just because they know the problems that their country is having. So they want, it, they want to do it to help. Mm. And it's curious because uh, then you see a lot of motivation for travelers. Someone is because, someone is because they just, they want to get the 10 bucks. Yeah. And I, I have those cases that, okay, 10, I will do it, I don't care because I'm gonna win $10. Yeah. Or it could be more, I mean, but, <coughs> but then I, we have some people that they do it because they like to help. And then because they people, like, okay, this is a cool, why not? It's a cool thing to do, I will do it. And uh, what are your, your, your biggest challenges now? Because you're now uh, based in, 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 in Panama. Mm -hmm. and you just told me uh, that you're also going to expand to, 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 to Spain. Yes. Because uh, why Spain? Why Spain? Uh, my co-founder is a Spanish. And right now we have been working with this Latin and Spanish market. So I think it's easier to replicate of what we are doing in, in a similar market. 
And besides, we start we wanted to start uh, doing local mandals. That's the way we call it, local errands. Which so in in Spain, uh, we made a few interviews, and they they need there's a huge need uh, for that. So. And then uh, we are at uh, at the, the web summit. So why you're here? So uh, what are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for investment, of course. Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> looking for investors. Everyone. <laughs> I think they 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 hide already their their, their batch because they, they they don't want more stalkers to them. But yeah, I'm looking for investment and I'm looking for other cool stuff because you learn you learn from this stuff. What mm. can you do to improve your business or what else? Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, what are your main challenges now for uh, for the next, uh, le let's say, year? Uh, what are the things you want to change in your platform to really uh, grow? Uh, we need a payment platform because right now it's for uh, everything they have to transfer to the account. So it's the, uh, p some people don't trust in that, like, hey, I'm going to deposit to this business. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I don't know, I sign on Facebook. Yeah. But we need a payment platform. But in order to do that, we need to move the company from Panama because in Panama we don't have that many uh, payment platforms that yeah. they support the country. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's a huge change that is coming, that everything has to be, they, they, everything is going to be online. And we want to place a chat so where the traveler and, and buyer can have a little bit more of interaction. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. and then also like when you're moving to Spain or, or expanding to Spain, uh -huh. uh, we also <coughs> uh, start with uh, with uh, sh uh, sharing st uh, stuff, uh, bringing st stuff with you by car because now you're really focusing on the airplane. Yeah, right now because in in Latin America it's really hard to move without airplane, but in Spain if it makes sense, why not? Yeah. Uh, why not? It's open like what it's. I mean, we want to keep the concept that it's the person who's gonna buy something for you in some place and bring it to you. And you are gonna pay for it if it, he wants to bring it by boat, car, whatever. It's, whatever, it's yeah. up to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, I think it's also really has value for, especially for things you are really love to have, like uh, like when you're living abroad and uh, like uh, when I would move to to San Francisco, mm -hmm. and then wants to, uh, to have the, the real Dutch peanut butter. That's really <laughs> because then it's not only about the money, because else you only have to focus on the more expensive expensive goods. Mm -hmm. But now you're going to really focus on the, on, on the more social expensive goods. Ex exactly, because I mean, how many, there's like, I think 200 million of people living abroad. So everyone wants something from their home country. And there's a huge market there to, that needs to be ex explored. And maybe they don't think about it because it's like, Okay, I have to wait that someone comes from my country to bring it. But maybe if they have the, sol if they have the solution, Maybe they're gonna feel the need. Yeah. You need to create that need because there's no way to. There's no current. I, I I cannot think of any current yeah. like <laughs> solution for that. Yeah. Uh, okay. So so now I, th I think it's very really important to really to, uh, to to share the message of of solution and then uh, grow your marketplace. So uh, thanks for the interview. Thank you. Good luck over here. I I hope you find some nice investors or <laughs> maybe uh, <coughs> some some other people. Yeah. And uh, talk to you later. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs>